Drawing walls in Revit works a lot like drawing lines in AutoCAD, only in Revit, walls are associated to the lines you draw. To start drawing a wall, go to the Home tab key at the top of the screen, pull down Wall, and choose the Wall tool. This opens up a wall type selector that you can pull down and choose the wall type you want to start. Next to the wall type selector are drawing tools where you can draw just about any shape wall that you need. I'll start out with the line segment tool. And underneath these is the options bar. And since Revit is actually modeling the wall in 3D space, you have the option to define the height of the wall as you draw it out. In this case, I'll change the dialog box to be 15 feet. And next to the wall height, dialog box is location line, which really Revit is asking you which face of the wall are you, are you defining as you draw it out. With exterior walls, I usually define it as the finished exterior face. Once you have some options selected, you can start drawing the wall by just clicking anywhere in white space. And as you drag out, you'll notice Revit is automatically snapping to orthogonal directions. You can click again and keep drawing. And if I hit the escape key once, I'll get out of the immediate drawing and then I can change a drawing tool. If I choose the pick lines tool, you'll notice that as I hover over existing edges and grid lines in the model, a blue path appears showing me where the, where the wall can be placed. If I click once on one of these edges, a wall appears over the entire edge that I've selected. I'll click to place the second one, and I can clean up the corners of these walls by using the trim tool. So I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the draw wall tool, go to the modify tab, and then choose trim. Hovering over the first wall to trim, I'll then move over and hover over the second wall, and as I do that, a blue dash line appears showing me the path of the walls that trim. Clicking once will clean up the walls. I'll hit escape a couple times to get out of the trim tool, tool, and if I select and drag the wall, you'll notice that the adjacent wall moves with it. With walls selected, you'll see a blue dot handle at the ends. You can always click and drag these and, and move them independently. If I drag it back into place, it rejoins with the adjacent wall. I'll hit escape a couple times. I can snap and align walls to grid lines by using the align tool. To find it, go to the modify tab at the top of the screen and choose align. Now I'll first choose the grid line that I want it to align to and click once. Then I'll hover over the wall that I want to snap up and you'll notice after hovering over the wall that you can choose different edges to snap to. If I use the tab key as I hover, I can also toggle to more edges to snap to. Once I have an edge selected, I'll click a second time to move the wall up and snap it into place. When you align a wall, you'll see a blue padlock appear. If you click the padlock, that locks and constrains the wall to that grid line. After escaping a couple times to get out of the align tool, if I select this grid line and move it, you'll see that the wall moves with it. This can complicate the model when you go to edit it later, so it's better not to lock and constrain walls to grid lines unless you really mean to. So I'll go ahead and click the padlock to unconstrain it. If you really just want to keep the wall, the wall from moving accidentally, it's better to pin it in place. To do that, first select the wall, and then under the Modify Walls tab at the top of the screen, choose Pin. Then you'll see a blue pin icon appear telling you that the wall is pinned into place and it won't be moved. If you want to move the wall, just select it and then click the pin icon to unpin it. If I wanted the bottom wall to be a curved wall, I can always delete it and redraw it with the curve wall tool. Going to the home tab at the top of the screen, I'll pull down wall again and this time I'll choose the curve wall tool. Zooming in, you can see Revit's automatically trying to snap to starting places. I'll drag it out click again, and then click a third time to place the curve. I'll hit escape a couple times to get out of the drawing tool, and this time I'll trim these walls up. After a wall's been placed, you can always swap it out for a different type by selecting it and then going to the wall type selector at the top and pulling down and choosing a different wall type. In this case, I'll choose a storefront wall. If I want to take this wall and bend it down along this grid line and back again, one way I could do that is to split the wall. To split a wall, first go to the Modify tab and then choose the Split tool. While in the Split tool, just hover over the wall and click anywhere to split it into two pieces. Then I'm going to draw a new piece of wall going down and trim it into place using the Trim tool under the Modify tab. 
Once I do this, I can select the other wall, bring it down, or align and snap it to the grid line, and I can trim these walls together. If I wanted this to be a, a, a fillet or a, a curved corner, I can always use the fillet tool by going back to the wall tool, pulling down wall, and this time choosing the fillet arc tool, drawing tool. You'll notice when you choose the fillet arc drawing tool, there's a radius option. If you click that, you can predefine it, its radius and enter a new value. I'll en enter three feet and then I'll select the first wall and just like the trim tool, I'll select the second wall and that will fill at the walls and give me a curved radius. Also, there's an offset tool that you can use. You can go back to the Modify tab and click on Offset and an, and an Offset dialog box will appear which will let you enter a new value, in this case 25 feet, and I'll just select the wall and it places it. You'll also find the Offset dialog if you go to the Wall tool and under the Pick Lines tool you'll also see the Offset dialog box and here you can enter a value and hover over a wall. Finally, you can extend these walls instead of just trimming their corners by using the Extend tool, which brings the wall to the end of another wall. To do that, first go to the Modify tab, and now choose Extend either a single wall or multiple walls. In this case, I'll choose multiple walls to extend. I'll first choose the wall that I want these ends to extend to, and then I'll individually choose the walls. Once you hover over a wall, you'll see a blue path indicating where the wall will go.